Hello Targar friends. Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. You guys know what time it is. Time for another Orc Mode workout and today was max effort bench press day and yes it was a PR day in spite of the cut. In spite of the cut, dropping about a pound a week and we got a bench PR. But just a quick reminder for those of you who like these videos, please click like down below. Help me keep the likes higher than the dislikes. You know you like these vlogs or you wouldn't watch them. It's all I ask from you. And I don't even ask it in every video, just the training vlogs these days. So if you guys would do that, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, we're getting the bench training dialed in. It's like I said before, I put way too much focus for a very long time into the overhead press. Way too much focus into the wrong part of my tricep. Trying to be more balanced, and that just didn't get me a big bench. What builds a bench? Pecs, lateral and medial tricep. That's what builds a big bench learning to get tight, learning to drive through explosively. What did we see today? Watch how fast this went. Even with the wider grip, I've always been really slow with the wide grip. The speed training and the tricep work and everything else is really starting to pay off. So watch this. Even with the 315 against bands, and for those curious, that is 50 pounds of bands. That's how much faster that is than normal. So I made another jump. And it was easier than I expected. I mean, it wasn't easy, easy. This was hard. I almost felt like I should try to make another 10-pound jump, but uh, I decided to take a win and step away. We can come back and try this, too. Again, I think I'm going to go up on the band and chain tension up to the next notch up with both bars. Give me four PRs, and I'm going to work my way back down through these again and then go down to a lighter band and chain. Okay. But notice that. And that's the 375 at the lockout was a little slow. But my lockouts are my slowest point on all my benching. That's why we're doing the tricep work. Okay, I was happy with that. I was really happy with that. And yes, I know my bench is not caught up to my squat or my deadlift. People point that out. Um, and for people say, well, what do you mean? What's proportionate? Well, a lot of these guys who you follow on YouTube, who you, you guys know have big benches and you think their deadlifts and stuff are okay, they're not proportionate. All right? What's my lifts? 550, 2 squat. And it'll probably be a lot higher when I test it later with the wider stance I've been doing. And I have a 615 conventional deadlift right now. Okay. A proportionate bench press would be about 380. So if people want to know what, what's actually equivalent about a 380 bench. Depending on which chart you look at, some people would say 400. That's where I would need to be. Um, so there's a long way to go, but we are making progress. And I have said the goal for this year is 375. So even that, because my squat and my, my deadlift are going to go up, if I hit my bench goal, I'm still not going to be proportionate, but we accept that because we just know I'm better at the others. But we're prioritizing bench to get there. And again, the training is working because I'm hitting PRs now on a calorie deficit. All right, we're hitting calories now. Or hitting PRs in a calorie deficit. I'm losing weight. And I expect to continue to do so because I have the right muscles dialed in. I have the right training dialed in. So I even hear the board press. You know, people are like, well, how's the board press going to help you? Am I hitting PRs? Small PRs, but I'm getting them after what? A year, over a year of no bench PRs, really? I'm back to the speed work, which I feel is critical. Doing it correctly. Doing all this board work, closed grip benching. I did some float presses for a while. I feel like they helped some. I probably get more out of the tricep work. But for me, the board presses and the close grip bench really do hit my pecs. And I didn't do a lot of volume today because I was a little fatigued. I hit those good PRs and then I hit the board press and then I had to run over to Skype. I had a new intake scheduled and um, I picked up a new client today, which is good considering everything going on economically around the world. Getting new quality clients is going to be a big deal, isn't it? But, you know, that's the beauty of it. More people with home gyms. It's going to be my client base. I think all my new clients for the next couple of months, because I have another friend who's building a home gym I've known for many years. He follows my channel. He's building one right now, and he's hiring me after his gym has all come in. He's going to hire me. People who are financially stable with home gyms, who are well established in their careers, that's going to be my biggest market for a while. Uh, so, you know. 
I had to come back and do my other work after that. I kept the volume a little lower. Um, all that stuff earlier took a little bit out of me. I didn't feel like I had tons of energy left and I wanted to just get PRs rather than push super high volume today. I'll get more volume on the uh, speed day, right? We'll try to do like five sets of some of this stuff. But I did good on the board work. I got the PR. So I'm like, let me just bump the closed grip bench another five pounds. I did three sets of 10. They were nice and challenging. Pause on the last rep and I quit. And I know last day on the speed day, I did five by 10, but it was with five less pounds. I've been finding that my, my close grip is a little harder on max effort day after doing the board work. So I was careful with it because I felt really fatigued. My chest was, was pretty well finished. Um, the board pressing really hits my chest hard. It hits my chest super hard. I get doms sometimes the next day afterwards. So the same thing with the close grip pressing. I feel it more in the chest and the triceps, which is why I do all that tricep work afterwards. Even though these are supposed to be tricep dominant chest movements, in theory, I feel them in my pecs the most. Pecs and then front delts and then triceps, if I feel any tricep at all. Because you have to get several sets deep. But this is all working. Um, this seems to be really a good combination for me. Bench is coming up in spite of calorie deficit. All this stuff. Um, JM Press. I decided to bump it five pounds today. I did six sets of ten. Now these are hard. Like the sets of ten were challenging with this weight. And for those curious, it's 130 on the bar with all the small plates. So I'm almost to doing a full plate aside again. So uh, when we get to that full plate and I can do sets of 10 with the correct form to where I feel it in my triceps like this and not in my shoulder, the angles are very important for that and it will be good to go. I think it, I'll get some bench PRs out of that too. So that's the next goal for supplemental work. You know, what, what do we want to see? I mean, ideally, well, 235 on those close grip presses. I want to get that up to 245. Right? That's a good milestone to reach for. How about the board presses for sets of five instead of sets of four with my current bench PR, which is what I'm using on it. Okay. Get those up to fives. That would be nice. Get the close grip up to 245 for sets of 10. Get the JM presses up to 135 for sets of 10. We're close to all of that. That's the next milestones we reach for. You know, people say, well, well, why? What does that have to do with anything? Well, this is how we build our, our lifts. The max effort lifts that I'm doing only help you learn to max. They account for only a tiny percentage of your training effect. All this supplemental work, this is what builds our lifts. And I fully addressed my bench and we're building it. And that's the thing. If you guys notice it now, I can wide grip bench and I'm like, there's no shoulder pain. Do you know why? Because I don't do any volume with a wide grip and I don't do anything that hurts my shoulders. I'm dropping everything that inflames delts even slightly. All of it. It's gone. No side lateral work. No overhead pressing. Nothing. Just tears my shoulders up. I'm doing tons of face pulls and if the face pulls can't build my delts, then nothing will. And you know what? Even there are experts out there who admit okay, who are big on direct delt work or even saying, yeah, the side delt does get hit by the face pulse quite effectively. Like, but you got to do a lot of them. Well, I am doing a lot of them. Try to get at least 10 sets a week of face pulse. Kind of on my off days, though. So that's what we're doing. We're not doing all this other stuff. Focus on upper back, triceps, pecs. And the triceps need to be hit in a way that's carries over to my bench can't worry about that long head not a bodybuilder and it doesn't help my bench I spent all that time working the long head doesn't help my bench it's a point where I look at it and you know I've said well maybe Louis Simmons is wrong about that one because a bigger muscle has more strength potential and I've always said that well as he calls that the lazy head I've had to come to accept he's right training it hadn't done anything for my bench the JM presses are. The close grip pinching is. But that's what we're doing. We're, we're working all of these movements that are easy on my shoulder joints. All these movements that work the triceps and the pecs, but we do so in a way that's easy on shoulders. 
That's building my bench, doing my different max work, doing my speed work, doing my speed work with board presses, close grip presses, and JM presses. And now my bench is coming up in spite of losing weight. Well, that's that's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. And it's working. I'm not worried about, at this point, for upper body, the overall strength. Me always, oh, I want to be strong at 17 different upper body lifts. We can do that with low body. We can be strong at 17 squats and deadlifts. But me trying to be all around strong for just the upper body stuff is really hurt my bench. I need to focus on the bench for a bit. And it makes sense because I'm strong at a lot of movements. I've hit some pretty heavy chin-ups and pull-ups in the past. You guys have seen me do some real heavy, strict standing presses. All right? My bench needs work. It is my weak link in my upper body. And it happens to be a contested lift. And it happens to be the bro's favorite lift. And that's one of the things that people call me out on is, you know, number one, they think I'm too fat while I'm cutting right now. And it's not like I have access to junk food during the lockdown. There's no way I'm running out and grabbing any. Um, so my diet's on point. It's clean. I'm having no trouble following it. Pretty well dropping a pound a week consistently. And bringing the bench up. We're doing it by working all the appropriate muscles. And as much as I might like different back movements, let's be honest, I need the upper back and the rear delts. That's what we need. That's why we're doing these inverted rows, doing inverted rows on my bench day. Five sets to failure. And I'll do my pin lay rows tomorrow. I don't care about pull-ups and chin-ups. They're not helping my bench. Not like this stuff does. Need the upper back. And we get enough lat work with all of it, and especially with the pin lays for now. And I might even replace these with pin lays again later. This is building my bench. Upper back, pecs, lateral and medial tricep. And, and we're seeing it happen. It's working. And then I did a couple sets of hammer curls to finish off just a failure. So again, it's a little less volume than I do. But I felt a little, little tired today. I got a good PR. And I didn't feel like just destroying myself on the volume today. You know, not like I do some of the days. I'll, I'll hit a bunch more volume probably on the dynamic day this week. Uh, but the, the max day today, I don't know. I just felt fatigued. I got a good PR. It was fast. I felt like I had more in the tank. But, um, you know, it was fatiguing. So we did just enough volume to stimulate growth on the important lifts. Uh, but it was a good workout. And I know you guys see I'm not trying to hide my body fat like everyone always says. Or my loose skin. There you have it while I'm cutting. You can watch it go down over the next couple months. So I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.